Hello everyone. Today we are going to study on design of water tank which rests on the ground. Okay. So this is a design problem. In this, we are going to design a reinforced concrete water tank. The capacity is given 150 meter cube and this rests on the ground. Another condition is given that it is circular shape which is restrained at base. That means it is fixed or we can say it is casted monolithical to the base. Okay. So first we are going to uh, assume or calculate the dimension. So the capacity is given if because it is a circular. So pi by 4 d square h. So this is the volume. D is the diameter into so it's called 150. I have assumed the height as 2.65 meter. So D is approximately I have taken 8.5 meter. Okay. So if you equate then 150 by h by pi by 4 root over the whole value you'll get. So I have a, approximately I have taken as 8.5 meter. I have round off this value. Okay. Now uh, this I have taken free board as 150 mm. So total final height of the uh, tank will be 2.8 meter. Now I have assumed 150 mm thickness of as of the wall, cylindrical wall or the circular tank. Now h square by dt I am taking h is the uh, depth of water, so 2.65 because this is the depth uh, for that capacity 2.65 by d is the diameter 8.5 into thickness 0.15 is up has come 5.5. Okay, I have round off these values. Now we have to refer this IS 3370 part 4. If you refer table 9, we will get this value h square by dt. They have given uh, this uh, variables as capital H by D capital T. Okay, I have taken all this in small. This so we have value for 5.0 and 6.0. The coefficient is given 0 0.477, 0 0.504. This is the maximum coefficient I've taken, and this is for at half of the h value, half of the uh, this depth. So for us, the h square by dt value is 5.5. So I'm going to interpolate between these two values, and I got the coefficient 0 0.49. So let's see this value in this table. So this is IS 3370 part 4, 1967 because this is not revised one. Uh, so this is a circular tank. You can see fixed base I am referring. Okay. So h square by dt uh, is 5.5. So I am going to take between 5 and 6. In this whole line, okay, I am going to take the maximum value. So I have got the maximum value under 0.5. You can see this is the value 0 0.477 and 0 0.504 and there is another 0 0.469 and 0 0.514. So this I have taken. So as you see the whole uh, table, this is the maximum value. So this maximum coefficient I have taken and I have interpolated the okay, 0 0.477 and 0 0.504. I have interpolated for this corresponding 5.5 value 0 0.049. If you see here, so they have given this tension is called coefficient into W into H into R. Okay. So, so the maximum tension will be coefficient in W into H into R, coefficient 0 0.49. Uh, the weight rho g 1000 because it is of water, 1000 density into 9.81, height is 2.65 into the radius. So, uh, diameter is 8.5, right? 8.5 we have taken 8.5 by 2 radius. So this much is the tension. Now for this, how much steel is required? This came as Newton per millimeter or Newton per meter. Okay, into the minus 3. So we need to calculate how much steel is required for this hoop. Okay, hoop steel, hoop stress. Now per meter height, if I'm calculating, because this is in Newton mm, I have to calculate in steel is in mm square. So by, this is the stress, 130, this is the permissible stress, you can see permissible in steel. This is given in uh, IS3370 part 2 in table 4. You see part 2, table 4, this permissible stresses in steel. So it is given because we are using Fe415 high yield strength. So it is 130, okay, tensile stress is 130 Newton per mm square. So 130 Newton per mm square, this is Newton per mm. So Per meter, so into thousand I have multiplied to get the area of steel. Okay. Next, 
uh, as per the ice code minimum reinforcement should be 0.35 percent so 0.35 into thickness 150 per meter so into 1000 we got 525 mm square so this is a minimum this is greater than the hoop still required so we are going to provide this minimum reinforcement so i'm going to provide 10 mm bar at the rate of 150 mm center so center next if i'm going to refer table 10 as 3370 this i'm going to calculate the because this we have calculated the uh, hoop steel now we are going to calculate the vertical steel okay so now this table 10 if i refer this was table 9 table 10 same h square by dt okay here this moment is coefficient into w into h cube okay coefficient w into h cube so uh, again 7 5 and 6 value i'm taking these are the coefficient maximum coefficient which i have got in the last com column okay in the last one h at this five and six so this two columns if you go corresponding to this this 0 0.022 and 0 0.0187 so i have taken from this table so th that was this is moments and the before one was for tension okay now uh, interpolating for 5.5 value i got this coefficient into 1000 into 9.8 into 2.5 2.65 q so i got this newton meter so we are going to provide uh, the steel for this bending moment the effective depth is 150 is the thickness of the wall minus if i'm giving 25 mm cover minus 25 minus 10 is the dia of bar see i've used 10 by a dia for this right minus center of the bar so i have taken this 10 by 2 because uh, vertical reinforcement, this is for the uh, horizontal reinforcement, this is for vertical reinforcement. So your effective depth is 110 mm. So I'm using uh, this formula to calculate the uh, reinforcement. So 1.5 safety factor into the moment 3733 Newton meter. So Newton mm into 10 to the 3 is equal to 0 0.87 FY 415 area of steel D dash 110 effective depth minus 0. 87 into 415 radius still by 0 0.36 into uh, fck 25 into 1000 so i got a uh, reinforcement 150 but we have to provide minimum reinforcement 0.35 percent so i'm going to provide the same minimum steel in vertical direction also so here uh, this is d dash minus 0 0.42 x u so here I have just missed 0 0.42 here, 0 0.42, this is the XU value. So you'll get uh, steel 1 150mm square and this is the minimum steel we are providing. Now next is, so this is vertical and the horizontal base slab. So base slab, because it is directly resting on the ground, so ground, uh, ground is going to carry the load. So we are going to provide the minimum steel. Okay. We, and let's assume the thickness of the slab is 150. So we are going to provide 0.35%. So let's provide this. Okay, 10, same 10 mm diabar at the rate of 150 mm center to center. Now this is the detailing that I've, I've done. This, this is the base slab and this is the vertical wall or the vertical cylindrical wall, which is 150 mm thickness. This is also 150 mm thickness. And this bar, uh, this is the freeboard, 150 mm. And this is the wall. Uh, 2.65 meter height of the water depth so i'm going to provide this hoop steel 10 m dia at the rate of if i'm going to provide both phase our uh, how much it came it came 10 mm dia at the rate 150 mm center center so if i'm going to provide in each phase so it is 10 mm at 150 mm center to center one phase if i'm providing if i'm going to provide the same in two phases then i can increase the spacing twice okay 150 mm the spacing was here i can provide 300 mm so this is the hoop red color for the horizontal uh, and this is vertical reinforcement so this is also the same 10 mm dia 300 mm center to center and this is for the slab reinforcement both phase 10 mm dia 300 mm center center to center okay thank you for watching